Hey guys, hope you're doing well and great. All right, for today's content, we have a question and I'm gonna answer that based on my experience. All right, so uh, the question what we have for today is, how do you or how should I decide my menu for virtual kitchen? All right, or say we can consider in this with deciding menu for virtual kitchen so let's just use that as our topic for this content all right so here's a good question so this question particularly is very similar to deciding a location so it goes uh, hand in hand basically so you have you got your location you found a property where you want to start your or operate your business right so the first question that you have is that uh, how do you decide for your menu the first thing that you have to understand is uh, analyze your data very well you got to run your data and understand few things before you decide to uh, launch or come up with a menu for that location let's say if you are first timer or you're a startup in virtual kitchen cloud kitchen or in a restaurant right it applies to restaurant as well so it's not just generally for virtual kitchen or cloud kitchen it applies for any food industry so if you are about to start a new business and a new location what you have to understand is that you don't want to move out there very soon right you want to stay in that area for a long period of time for that reason you want to sign your contracts and all those things for a long period of time so that you can get a better better benefit from the landlord or your realtor property right <clears throat> so the first thing for this thing is like you need to analyze your data so what does your data include uh, be, I always consider uh, to understand uh, con consider to look into a de demographic so how do you uh, look to, uh, or study the demographic where do you get the data right it's, it's very simple once you log into Google just let's say for if you want to know uh, Let's give an example of uh, Brooklyn, right? So let's say you are starting your business in Brooklyn area. Now, from your location, you want to see like, you know, what's the demographic, right? So you start the demographic of Brooklyn, New York, right? Just type in like that and then you will see uh, a, a website of links that gives you a current uh, uh, Sensex records, which is the, the latest data of the year. And from there you can go through uh, what's the demographic in that particular city or area look like right so when you start a menu what you have to really understand is the demographic which include the age the income and also people who are uh, educated basically the literacy rate the literacy percentage and also uh, you want to consider the employment rate so one of the things that you have to really con con uh, understand first thing is that uh, you want to make sure that the area has more percentage of people between 25 to 45 and number of people are employed, right? If you have people, let's say, if you are living or if you are trying to start your business in a school area, right? Those school area probably sounds good, but then the problem is that those kids are dependents they are they depend on the parents and also similarly it goes to the people who are senior people right uh, an age above 55 they will not come and pick the food from your place they will hardly request uh, food from online so similarly it goes to the kids the kids usually won't come drive and come to your place or they'll order it from with you know from uh, from from the app or website they will not do that most so these are a few things that you want to understand and also you what you want to understand is that that location uh, the community basically you want to understand the culture of that community and the the belief of that community right so for example if you have <clears throat> people from uh, like an Asian country right and let's say for example for India India right now let's say you you're in a city or in the, the town is mostly Asian and those are like a Indian or say a Chinese right 
If you try to set up something like a, a burger, a fried chicken, probably it may not go there because the culture or the people over there are not used to uh, this kind of a Western or fast food chain. So similarly, if you are in, uh, in a place where most of the population are from European or from, from uh, you know, any other uh, from Canada or from like South American, probably if you try to launch or uh, set a business for like Indian rest food style, it will not work because you because the culture does not go along with that kind of food. Probably they may come, but what we are looking in our business is a constant flow of food demand or whatever that you make, you prepare. We want a constant flow of those uh, demand for that product that we have in the kitchen, right? So that's or in the business. That's what we're looking for. So that's something that you have to really, really understand very well. This actually I have shared uh, for free in my uh, training course, uh, which is a virtual kitchen resource. You can also find uh, in the description the link where uh, you just have to log in, sign up yourself, and also it's for free. I'm giving out 25 people this content for free once if you're on the 25 list good but if it's above the 25 it'll be locked and you have to pay from there onward right so it's a very limited content the one which I have provided for free is 10 models but the, the entire model that I have created for the training program is 24 to 25 model which uh, I I'm going to share some of those in contents like this but I would uh, like you to you know go and give yourself uh, an access to the training program and go through in details see uh, there are more better options better informations for you waiting to be you know uh, to be to be to be shared with you basically so go through the training program and see uh, if it's useful for you and if you have a kind of valid feedback questions feel free to uh, send me in your comment section in the YouTube channel or you can also uh, follow us on the virtual kitchen resource Instagram website okay and also not only that we have a Facebook group it's the same name virtual virtual kitchen resource you can access to uh, the group for free you don't even have to do anything at all just comment uh, your questions or any suggestions that you have and we will go through and we will answer as much as we can. All right, so get back into uh, getting back into this uh, uh, question. So here is the thing that you have to really understand uh, the demographic very well before you create your menu because you don't want to create a menu or a food that the people in that area will not buy, right? You just have to understand that very well. So if you happen to be in you know, locations where you see there is a lot of uh, Latinos or Mexicans are there, for people from uh, uh, you know Mexico or South America probably you may be able to sell very good tacos burritos and all those things but uh, if you try to s sell taco burritos in the Asian community it may not work so you have to really understand the community the belief and at the same time as I have mentioned you got to know that who's going to be buying from your restaurant it's going to be the people who are uh, busy who are employed and who has the money, right? So uh, uh, kids below 25 usually won't buy and uh, people who are about 55 will not buy because they have to come and drive and these guys will not come and drive to your place most of the time. And they probably may not even log into the app or website to order without somebody's uh, you know, help. So you gotta understand those part very well. So uh, this thing is very similar to setting up a new location and finding out uh, what is the best location for your new business. It's a very similar concept, but in terms of uh, uh, finding the great menu or the selling menu for a new business would be to understand the community first and then also understand the demographic based on employments and also the age and also the literacy rates because you need to have a high amount number of a literacy rate as well because most of the thing that you're gonna be selling it it will be from apps and from a website so you don't want somebody 
calling you over the phone and wasting your time, you know, responding. So everything what you want to do is through a digital platform, through app and website. So if people are literate, they will be able to manage themselves, uh, you know, self-help guidelines and go through and know the instructions to follow. So you can save a lot of time uh, providing uh, electronic uh, customer service system. So uh, that's that's all for uh, the menu part. But if you guys have any other questions, please do feel free. But uh, to conclude it once again, what I would like to share to you is that uh, uh, be very, very careful on uh, setting up a new menu for your business. Here's another thing that I want to include is let's say you are an established business owner right and you want to expand your business to a new location now here the scenario is that probably let's say you're a Starbucks right and then uh, you want to expand your business so let's say if you happen to move into the countryside do you really think that from the people from the countryside would go and buy a Starbucks probably not but then if you're a Dunkin Donuts all right and then you establish your next business location in a countryside chances are that your business will be very good so it's not about uh, your brand most of the time it's about the the product that people can afford it or they're familiar with or people they are influenced by right so know your community very well know your demographic very well and all these combined together you got to know your data very well do your debt analysis if you have to pay someone else just pay them if you can do it yourself just do it yourself just to make sure that before you spend any single penny you invest your time and study so that you can maximize those penny for your benefit and for your growth and for your success all right guys with that i'm going to end this video for today and we will go and check on the next video about the setting up a new location in the next video until then you guys have a good day